What do you do if your voice gets tired, especially in a gig? Maybe you're not feeling well that day. I'm going to give you my three favorite decompression exercises to keep in your vocal toolbox because you never know when you might need them. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips, 32 years of teaching voice, 44 years of studying voice, all different styles. My students have ranged from ultra beginners all the way through advanced touring professionals, voice teachers, choral directors, and competition winners. I always give you serious vocal technique made simple and fun. When the voice gets tired, it's generally due to a few reasons. Number one, pressing the vocal folds too tightly, not allowing enough air to go through, which then causes too much friction. Another common cause is singing with the larynx too high for too long of a period of time, which then again puts us into that squeeze. I call these the enemies of the singer. So what do we do? We need to decompress and reset. Here are my easy exercises that you can do on stage or during a break. Number one, the breathy hum. Mm, mm. I would do this either in the middle range or low range. What are we doing? Mm. We're letting more air through the vocal folds and releasing the tension at the larynx. Number two, what I call the floaty momos. We start out breathy, mo, 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 until we have clean closure. Then you apply to other vowels. Ma, 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 ma. Me, 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 me. So what have we done? We've decompressed and now we're resetting. Number three, straw phonation exercises. Or if you're on stage, you can even just use an imaginary straw, but it goes like this. Mm. Or, mm. Mm. There's a lot of information online about the therapeutic benefits of straw phonation. So that should already make you feel better. But during your break, you can go backstage or if you have to run out to your car, I would do some gentle turning the head side to side. You could do your laryngeal massage. You can massage the back of the neck. You can massage your shoulders. You can do some chewing exercises to release the jaw, okay? You could stick your tongue out to release the tongue. Okay, but please don't do this on stage. See my playlist on throat tension, where I give you a lot of other exercises if you get tight. Now those were all exercises for vocal technique, but of course you want to make sure that your technique is healthy so you can sing for longer periods of time without getting tired. Exercises are what will build and train your voice just like any other athlete. In my audio exercise training program, Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Exercise Program, I give you tons of exercises for vocal technique and for troubleshooting whatever your vocal problems may be. Plus, we work on style, vocal colors, textures. Let's face it, the more choices you have in your singing, the more fun you'll have. It's for all different voice types, all different levels, super affordable, and I do regular group classes with members. So if you still haven't signed up, see the link below and join us. It is now time for Victoria's Wisdom. If your voice gets tired, stop and do the simple exercises to decompress and reset. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media and continue practicing with your healthy and beautiful technique. And I look forward to seeing everyone again very soon.